In Better Makeup today, we want to tell you what's trending for fall. Erin Infantino of Simply Gorgeous by Erin is here to show us what the go-to look is for this time of year. Welcome back to Better Canada. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Good you always look so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I was always going to say your makeup is flawless. Well, as it probably should be, I'm right? I'm a makeup artist, yeah, so, so it'd be yeah. like, yeah. you know. <laughs> Today, we should also acknowledge that it's uh, wear orange for uh, to stop bullying. And yes. you have orange lipstick, and I would never I think orange lipstick yes, would work. Yes, I know. But orange lipstick really well, looks cool. It's a rusty orange. It's got metallic to it, and that's, you know, one of the big trends this fall. So, yeah, I, I love your nail polish, too. Thank you. It's, yeah, br yeah. it's brown. You. I never would think it's to brown, put brown. You know, it's, it's chocolate kiss, so chocolate it has a kiss. subtle maroony red undertone to it. Which yes. is great. And there are different... I think as long as you keep the nails short, I feel, I feel like it's, like, tasteful. Oh. You can do it in the office if you want to, and not just feel like too it's much. too long and be too much. And there's, right. for women, there's certainly a difference between seasons as to what kind of makeup you should be Oh, applying. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, summertime, people like to keep it soft, glowy. You don't really want to wear a whole lot. Um, come fall, we're starting to lose that that little sun kiss. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you want to um, amp things up a little bit. Um, I'll go in order to make it a little bit easier. So for this fall, there's a few things that are kind of hot. Um, lashes, which to me, lashes are always a huge thing. Um, false lashes, they have tons of different kinds out. I don't know if you can get that in the shot there, but these are really cute ones that you could find at Sephora. You can rewear them over and over. Um, so you can do like a very neutral eye and then pop on your lashes and it's gonna give it that eye opening effect without going too overboard. What, what's life expectancy of an eyelash? Can, I mean, how many uses I can I try to you... get them at least I would twice. Say, yeah, yeah, so um, I'm a little bit of a clean freak, but if you take the lashes off, you wanna make sure you take the glue off and if you take a 70% alcohol swab and wipe it, you should be able to get about 10 uses out of those. Very good. 10, yeah. oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, you just gotta take care of them. Okay, so let's So over this here. is a brow gel, it looks like a mask mascara so I'll open it up a little bit if you want and they come in different shades depending on what your brow is but fluffy brows are very in um, especially for fall time I think because it's really accentuating the eye area do you need to wear the pencil underneath or that's enough it depends I do because my brows are very sparse without it so you yeah. can do that and then go ahead and kind of comb through and Get them, you want to comb them up so they look like a little fluffy and a little spiky. It's like okay. I do before the show. I always fix your eyebrows. Every yeah, so I was going to say, we can't every, try some on you. Every huh? single time. Well, you never know. I'll give it a okay. try. So um, another popular thing, I absolutely love this. you got to get a close-up on this. So when people oh, think so of glitter, they think, oh, my gosh, yeah, it's prom and it's terrible. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. But look at, look at that even on your skin. I mean, it's tasteful. So it's glitter. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Dig in. Dig in. There we go. So it's glitter it done right. Yeah. So putting that on your eyelids and then having something more matte in the crease, it's really, really so you pretty. you put that glitter all over your eyelid or just in little spots? Okay, or you over. can do it a little bit in the middle of your eyelid. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, you can get carried away with it, but then they're going to go a little too disco queen. And that is made by uh, Mark Jacobs. That's Mark Jacobs, yes. He has, I think it's six different shades in this one right here. But um, That's spectacular. This is really gorgeous. This one is called Sequins. Well, I, see, when I see a woman with, like, you know, this type of glitter. I think it makes them look even more attractive. It's very pretty. When it's done right, it's very, very pretty. Okay. Shine, 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 shine. And speaking of, you've got the, a nice little palette here we can yeah. uh, just Lift it up so that they can get a shot. But th this one has uh, different warm colors on it. And yep. um, I'm wearing most of these shades today on my eyes. So cranberry. Oh, wait, let's, let me find. So cranberry is huge. Actually, even fuchsia is really big um, on the eyes. I find that cranberry is easier because you can warm them up with the um, more of the what would you call that? More of a rusty shade, some and it coppers won't make you look and gold. If you exactly. You won't look like a lab rat. Okay. You don't want to look like that. I've always had too much pink eyeshadow and you yeah, look blood so cranberry's no. okay. So okay. cranberry's good. You just want to kind of ground it, keep it um, warmed up with those other shades. And that's by Natasha that's Denona. That's not Natasha Denona. Normally her palettes are bigger, but she has some of these mini ones in different shades because violets are also huge for this fall. Okay. And she has her violet palette too. Nice. So it's $25 for that. That's pretty darn good because that's mm -hmm. fabulous makeup. We only have a minute left. Okay. I'll make sure you get this. So let's move on to lips then. So lips, um, this is the color that I'm wearing here. This is a liquid lipstick. Um, very, very metallic-y. So metallic lips are very in also. Um, they come in different shades. I just love this particular shade. People are always going to ask. This one is called uh, Blowtorch. Okay. And who makes that? That's, That's by Smashbox. Smashbox Blowtorch if you want the orange lipstick for Halloween. And then this is a limited edition by Urban Decay. It's their cherry, which is absolutely delicious. It kind of reminds me of Chanel's Vamp that they had yes, a couple decades ago. That was a big deal. Now, big. can anyone wear that color? Yes, I feel that they can. Um, it's just how you wear it. So, I mean, 
obviously it's going to go on the lips. You're not going to put it anywhere else. But what you're going to wear with it, that's going to help you. So you and I are very different. You're more cool colorings, undertones, I would say. I am more warm. We could both wear this, but you're going to use maybe different shadows and blush to help it all come together okay. than what, say, I would. Is this a, a face tint or what is that's this? That's actually a nail lacquer. So oh, okay. um, it's very similar to this shade, but again, it's the dark nails are great for fall. And that's a deep, deep plum from Smith & Colt. Nice. I love this. I learned so much today yes. Yes. about women's makeup. Now I can give some tips. Yes, Cara, you if you can. want to talk to me tomorrow about your makeup, let we'll me know. We'll get you some eyebrow gel. Terrific. <laughs> hey, they have clear eyebrow gel, so. Erin uh -huh. is currently offering a microblading special that benefits charity, and it benefits you, too. Booking a microblading session now through Halloween for appointments in November or December, and you'll get $50 off, and Erin will donate $50 to the breast cancer charity after the storm. That's yes. wonderful. Thank you so much yes. for doing that. They're a wonderful local and charity. And to make Terrific. an appointment, you can just call 860-863-5411 or head to Erin's website. The address is simply gorgeous by Erin. Dot com. Thanks, Erin. Thank, Thank you. you. And a little later in the show, Miss Connecticut. And up next, the incomparable Patti LaBelle. The music legend is not shy about sharing her health struggles. Our interview with her is coming up. Before we talk to her, though, we want to send you on over to Studio A for a check on your latest news and weather. So good.